In the previous recap, Lux and all of the girls were enjoying their time at the beach, but then they were suddenly attacked by Hayes, who was controlling a Ragnarok, but after defeating the monster. A new set of ruins appeared at the ocean, so while they were exploring that ruins, a monster attacked them and Lux and Feely were thrown out of the ruins during a fight. That monster slammed Feely into a old house and seeing that Lux took it out and gets to Feely, but something about Feely changed and now, Feely is attempting to kill Lux. The boy she had loved for years, so let's continue the story from there. So, as Feely was about to kill Lux, she suddenly passed out upon hearing Lux's voice, then at that moment, Hayes appeared and informed Lux that Feely had a monster seed inside her. And anyone with a monster seed would eventually transform into a monster, and Hayes had the power to control Philia, and this time, Hayes ordered Feely to kill Lux, but she defied his order. And that caused her to lose consciousness from severe pain, Philly had been defying his orders for a while now, and if this continued, she would likely die. So Lux has a chance to save her by fulfilling Hayes' demand, that is by opening the gate to the core of the ruins within two days. And the only one who could open the door was Crow Lucifer, because she's the key, consequently, Lux gets to relay and discovered a secret. She told him that Philia had been kidnapped by the former empire for experimentation, when Lux saved her five years ago, she was already dead at that time, however. She came back to life because of the monster core, which is why Relay wants access to the core of the ruins, to get the technology from there and extract the monster seed from Feely, nevertheless. Then Lux's older brother, Fugil, contacted him with an alternative solution, he told Lux that he could save Feely by destroying the flute controlling her along with the Ragnarok monster. But as time passes by, Feely's condition was getting worse, but she no longer feared deaths when she and her sister lost their parents, her older sister lived solely because of Feely. But now that she had Lux to rely on, Feely could die without any worries, so without wasting any time, Lux brought Crew Lucifer to open the gate of the core, however, to their disappointment. The core had nothing but crystals in it, and there was no traces of technology to save Philia, but then suddenly, Krulsh regained her memories and realized her true goal was to kill everyone in the room, and just then, Hayes gets there, as he had not kept his end of the deal. He took full control over Feely and ordered her to eliminate everyone, Feely's power posed a significant threat, as it nullified the mech's abilities of everyone present. And on the other hand Krulsh summoned her minions, adding more problem to the chaos, meanwhile, Fugil appeared to warn Hayes, and on the other side, Eri used the flute to break Hayes' control over Philia, but he had a plan B that will be a difficult battle for them, he released a Ragnarok, a creature with extreme regenerative capabilities. So no matter how much they attacked, Ragnarok will remain unscathed, so in desperation, Lux told Leisha to generate the code that would allow him to use an over-limit. Although she was in the process of doing so, Lux found himself on the brink of death, as he was strangled by the vines of the tree like Ragnarok, but them in the final moment. Leisha successfully generated the code, and Lux activated his overdrive, and them he ultimately destroyed that Ragnarok single-handedly, but the intense battle caused substantial damage to the ruins, which caused its collapse, so for now, Philia was safe, and it was all thanks to Lux. But after surviving that ordeal, the girls decided to arrange a nice party, but then, a significant event was approaching, the kingdom's founding festival. So Leisha and other girls wants to have a one-on-one -on -one date with Lux, but to prevent a fight from breaking out, Relay suggested an easy way, to let Lux chose three girls per day. But before going on the first day of his date, Eri warned him to be careful, because there was a Dragon Knight competition at the festival. And the strongest Dragon Knight from the former Kingdom of Arcadia had escaped from prison, but for now, Lux freed himself for the first date, which was with Celestia. They spent their time exploring the town together, but Celestia had accidentally drunk a bit of alcohol, and when she slipped, Lux tried to save her but accidentally fell on top of her. And accidentally placed his hands on her massive racks, so before the situation became more intimate, the first date came to an end, and it was time for the second one with Crew Lucifer. His second date took place in a ballroom filled with aristocrats and high-level dragon knights, so they danced together and later enjoyed the view from the balcony. And their crew Lucifer becomes bold and asks Lux for a kiss since her butler was keeping an eye on them, and with that done, it was time for the third date with Philia, she took Lux to a church. Knowing he had been exhausting himself to make everyone happy, she let him rest his head on her lap pillow and gave him much needed break, so as Lux was heading back to his room. 
Leisha stopped him to make a request, she wanted Lux to be her knight because after graduation, she would officially join the royal court she would need an attendant. But then she ran away in embarrassment, giving Lux time to think about her request, so on another day, Lux discussed this with Ari, as well as the Dragon Knight competition. And Ari informed him that he could use his Black Knight mech for 12 minutes and his Wyvern mech for 15 minutes after that over limit he used. She suggested him to drop out from the competition and rest, however, Yorika, a loyalist of the former empire, appear. She accepted Lux as her master because he was the last surviving member of the former royal family, and Yorika expressed her desire to serve Lux. But he holds their conversation for the time being and after Eri left, Yorika and Lux took a walk, but Lux was curious about Yorika's unwavering devotion to the fallen royal family, so in a nutshell. Yorika came from a small kingdom that had been conquered by the former empire, she entered into a contract with the former king, so for the sake of that pact, she wants Lux to overthrow the new kingdom of Astamata and restore the former empire of Arcadia and become the king, but just then, all the members of Lux's harem arrived to capture Yorika. And despite their combined efforts, they couldn't even scratch Yorika because she used an ability to control each and single one of their mechs, so without shedding any blood. Yorika left the scene with an invisibility power. However, Yorika is actually sided with Hayes, Lux's archenemy, and they are planning something big for this festival, meanwhile, Lux is summoned to a meeting by the four great nobles, who force him to accept a deal, in exchange for luring out 100 hidden abyss creatures and winning the Dragon Knight tournament. They agree to overlook Relay's misuse of her authority to explore the ruins for personal gain, despite having limited time to use a mech, Lux agrees to the terms, later. Yorika meets Lux again and shares her past with him, she reveals that she was a princess of the Eastern Kingdom and had a twin brother. Yorika possessed the talent to sense killing intent and became her brother's sword, serving as a loyal protector, however, her brother, a wise ruler, was betrayed by his own people to save their own sorry ass, when the Arcadia Kingdom began invading their lands. This led Yorika to enter a pact with the former king and fueled her desire to fulfill her loyalty, Lux, on the other hand still has no intention of destroying the new kingdom to revive the Arcadia Empire, so now Yorika and Lux become enemies as a result, then the next day. The Dragon Knight competition begins and Crucifer notices that Lux is behaving differently this time, he was finishing his matches much more quickly than usual. So after that match Lux leaves to lure out the monsters so that the kingdom's forces can eliminate them, and after completing his task he goes to take rest, and on the other hand, Leisha participates in her match but unexpectedly starts attacking the audience, so the match got cancelled, and Leisha is taken into custody by the authorities. Then Ari informs others about Lux's situation and whereabouts, and as Lux is protecting the kingdom, the girls set out to find clues that can help Leisha, they hope to locate Yorika. As she is the only one with the ability to control mechs, however, their search got them no results, meanwhile, on Lux's side, the army, exhausted from battling the monsters, is suddenly ambushed by loyal servants of the former Arcadia Empire, the leader of the rebels, who has joined forces with Hayes, presents an even greater threat. This enormous ruins, known as the Giant, pose a significant challenge for Lux, Lux now has about 12 minutes left in his Bahamut mech to deal with that ruins, however. Lux's mech got damaged by a sword swing, but it was impossible to cut a hand of Black Bahamut. And there it is revealed that the one Lux had been piloting until now was a fake Bahamut. Meanwhile, Leisha is imprisoned, and Sonia visits her, she tells her to give up on the kingdom to prevent further casualties, but Leisha refused to surrender, Leisha stands her ground. And Sonia orders her men to undress Leisha, but when Lux appears, they quickly retreat. However, Hayes continues his advance toward the kingdom, so Lux and everyone give their best effort to stop him before he reaches the kingdom. Lux sends Crucifer and Feely to deal with the monsters and rebel forces, and during the battle, when Leisha is engaged in combat, Hayes arrives with his immensely powerful mech. So while Leisha keeps Hayes occupied, Lux sneaks away and encounters Yorika, although Yorika puts up a good fight, Lux got victory victorious on his hand, so after her defeat, Yorika has a change of heart, meanwhile, Leisha got a serious hit from Hayes so Lux rushed to her aid, then just as the giant ruin is about to fire a massive artillery. Yorika manages to stop it in time, witnessing this, Hayes goes nuts in anger, and that led him to his defeat, so when the threat was dealt, Leisha declares Lux as her knight. 
Bringing a satisfying conclusion to the situation, however, the ongoing matter of Lux's harem remains unresolved. So our anime comes to end, but please do subscribe the channel so that I could bring more of the anime recaps.